Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We're excited to tell you about KDP's new storytelling option, Kindle Vela. Today, we're going to share details about Kindle Vela, talk about how to publish a story, and best practices to maximize your success with this new option. I'm Trisha, and for the past six years, I've moved around Amazon's books teams, learning the business so I could share it with authors. Prior to coming to Amazon, I worked as a graphic artist, project manager, and educator. When I'm not spending time with my family, my art, or my garden, I'm privileged to work as a program manager for the marketing team, helping authors use the KDP website to make the most of their author journey. So let's start talking about Kindovella. Kindovella is a mobile reading experience for serialized stories, stories that are told one episode at a time. Readers can follow and read the episodes as they're published over weeks, months, or even years. Publishing Kindle Vela stories via KDP gives you a new way to connect with readers and engage a new audience. With Kindle Vela, you can self-publish serialized stories one short episode at a time. Your readers are able to access all Kindle Vela stories in the Kindle iOS app and on Amazon.com. So here's a quick video overviewing Kindle Vela. Introducing Kindle Vela, a new way to tell a story to readers in the Kindle mobile app, a new way to earn royalties, and a new way to engage and interact with readers. With Kindle Vela, you can reveal your story one episode at a time. Create a story that hooks readers and keeps them coming back to catch up on the latest plot twists and turns. Readers can start any story for free. After that, they purchase tokens and redeem them to unlock additional episodes. Kindle Vela provides authors a new way to earn royalties when readers use tokens to unlock episodes. Kindle Vela makes it easy to find the perfect story. Use tags to help readers quickly find the stories, genres, or microgenres they're interested in. Kindle Vela includes new ways for readers to interact with stories and share feedback with the author and other readers. To make sure they never miss a thing, readers can follow stories they like to be notified whenever a new episode is released. When a reader enjoys an episode, they can give it a thumbs up to let the author and other readers know they liked it. Each week, readers who've unlocked an episode receive a fave that they can grant to the story they enjoyed most. Stories with the most faves will be featured on a leaderboard to celebrate top picks and help others discover these most loved stories. With author notes, you can break the fourth wall and speak directly to your readers. Do you have a story to tell? Start your first story today at kdp.amazon.com slash Kindle Vela. As mentioned in the video, with Kindle Vela, you can create a story and release episodes frequently over an extended period. The first three episodes of every story are free, and after that, your readers will use paid tokens to unlock your episodes. Your readers can follow stories they like, and we'll notify them when new episodes are released. Your readers can catch up on stories they follow whenever and wherever it's convenient. With Kindle Vela, we're introducing new ways to interact with your readers. At the end of each episode, you'll have the option to leave personal author notes. You can use author notes to share additional thoughts and insights. So far, we've seen authors have success using these to share more background about a character, the inspiration for a specific location, tease their next episode, or just express their excitement and how much fun they're having writing the story. We've also introduced a few new ways for readers to share feedback on the stories they're enjoying. At the end of each episode, readers can give it a thumbs up to let you and other readers know they enjoyed it. The total thumbs up count is showed on your story detail page, which can help readers find stories that others are enjoying. In addition, once a week, paying readers will receive a fave to award to the story they enjoyed the most that week. 
We feature stories with the most faves in the Kindle Vela store to help readers find stories others have enjoyed. To help readers find your story in the Kindle Vela store, we're also introducing tags. You can use tags to provide readers more information about your story, such as more granular genre information. Tags will appear in your story's detail page, serve as search keywords, and have their own landing pages where readers can find stories associated with each respective tag. For each Kindle Vela story, you can add up to seven tags. It's easy to get started, and you can start your story today through your KDP account. Similar to KDP, there's no upfront cost for you to publish your story. And you retain your publishing rights. The publishing process is simple with Kindle Vela. You can write your story in the online editor or upload a Word document with basic formatting. Kindle Vela also offers another way for you to expand your fan base and appeal to new readers who may prefer reading shorter content. With this new storytelling option, you can introduce a new story idea, experiment with a new genre, and or expand on your existing series. It also introduces another option for you to earn royalties. You'll earn 50% of what readers spend on the tokens that are used to unlock your story's episodes. You'll also earn bonuses based on customer activity, such as redemption of free and paid tokens, faves, and follows, as well as publishing activity. For example, how many and how often you're publishing episodes. Here's how earnings per episode will be calculated. We'll multiply the number of tokens needed to unlock an episode by the token bundle price divided by the number of tokens in that bundle minus applicable taxes and fees. We'll then multiply that by 50% to get your earnings per episode. Let's look at two examples on how to calculate earnings for a 3,025 word episode. It'll take 30 tokens to unlock this episode. So in the first example, the tokens were purchased as a 200 token bundle. Using the calculation shows that earnings per episode is 14.93 cents. When the tokens are purchased as a 1,100 token bundle, the earnings would be 13.62 cents. And in these examples, we're assuming there's no taxes. Let's start a Kindle Vela story. To get started, go to kdp.amazon.com to sign in or create an account. For new accounts, you can use the same information as you do for Amazon. At this time, Kindle Vela is available to U.S.-based authors. After you sign in, click the Kindle Vela Library banner at the top of your bookshelf. This will take you to your Kindle Vela Library, where you can start a story by clicking Start Your Story. In the Story Setup page, you'll enter information about your book, like title, author name, and description. And this will be displayed on the story product page when it becomes available to readers. Cover images for Kindle Vela are a little different than Kindle ebook covers. The covers will be displayed as circles on Amazon.com and in the Kindle iOS app. They're the first things your readers will see. When you choose your cover image, we recommend uploading a square image with any important visuals centered. And don't include the title or author name in the image. These will be displayed under the image automatically. And use a quality image that's high resolution. You'll be able to choose up to two categories to classify your story in Kindle Vela. Categories help readers find the type of story they want to read. You can also use tags to provide specific information about your story to help readers find your story and then grab their interest. 
You can add up to seven tags. Each tag can be 25 characters or less. We recommend using descriptors like subgenre, for example, near future, or narrative elements. So for example, opposites attract. These will help your readers get a feel for your story. After you create your story, you can begin publishing episodes. Episodes are intended to be short and hook your readers, so they keep coming back for more. Episodes can range between 600 to 5,000 words. Entering episode details is your next step. Start by entering a title for your episode. An episode title isn't required, and if you don't include a title, episodes will be titled by number. So for example, episode one. You can begin writing your episode directly in the online editor, or if you prefer, upload a Word document. At this time, Kindle Vela supports basic formatting, such as bold, italics, and underlines, which makes formatting super easy. Kindle Vela stories don't support hyperlinks and images at this time. Readers can read the first three episodes in your story without redeeming tokens. For later episodes, you'll see the token count automatically appear based on your episode's word count. Author Notes is another new feature that allows you to leave a personal note for your readers at the end of an episode. This gives them more insight into the story or other tidbits they may find interesting. You can schedule your episodes to release right away or schedule for a future date. So for example, you can schedule to have your episodes released as often as daily. To provide the best experience for readers, Kindle Vela stories should be written specifically to be released in a serial format. One short episode at a time. If you have a story in this format that's available elsewhere, you can also publish it with Kindle Vela as long as you retain the rights and it's not available for free. Kindle Vela doesn't accept stories that are freely available on the web, or previously published books, or long form chapter book content. And if your Kindle Vela story is derived from another previously published work that you've authored, you may include up to 5,000 words of content in the first episode. It's been an exciting few months since the launch to readers. We wanted to take this opportunity to directly answer a few of the more common questions that we're seeing. So the first question, what type of content should I publish on Kindle Vela? Kindle Vela stories should be written specifically to be released in a serial format. We've seen that readers particularly enjoy stories that are released frequently over a period of time. Other than that, it's up to you. How have authors found success so far using Kindle Vela? So, so far, we've seen the most successful stories on Kindle Vela have a few thing in, things in common. So here's the top three. So the first one, episodes are released on a frequent, regular, and often predictable schedule. So for example, one to three times a week. So the second one, um, authors use author notes at the end of each episode to speak directly to readers and build a connection and then encourage them to leave a thumbs up and fave their story. And the last one, authors are encouraging their fans on social media to facilitate a discussion about their story. So can I publish my story elsewhere or does it have to be exclusively available to Kindle Vela? Now you can publish your Kindle Vela story elsewhere as long as it's in serial format and not available for free. Do I have to unpublish my Kindle Vela story to publish it as a book? So no, you don't need to unpublish your Kindle Vela story to publish your story as an ebook, paperback, or hardcover. To provide the best reader experience, if you choose to publish your Kindle Vela story as an ebook, the book must contain a minimum of 10 episodes, and the episodes need to have been available to readers in the Kindle Vela story for at least 30 days. 
So for example, if you write a 30 episode story and think the first 15 episodes would make a good book, you can bundle those to make a book and then continue adding new episodes to the story over time. How is Kindle Vela being promoted to readers? We are currently just getting started with Kindle Vela, and we're continuing to ramp up our promotions both in the Kindle store and offsite. It's easy to get started, so start your story today. We've got readers waiting. To start your story, go to kdp.amazon.com slash Kindle dash Vela. And for more information, visit our Kindle Vela help pages and visit the KDP author community Kindle Vela discussions to share questions and get tips from KDP Kindle Vela experts and other Kindle Vela authors. Thank you so much.